E-L-E-C-T-R-I-C-I-T-Y. That's right, we're talking about electricity today. But what is electricity? I mean, we use it all day every day, so what is it and how does it work? Electricity is a form of energy resulting from charged particles. These charged particles can either be released in a discharge, like shocking your friends with static electricity or lightning, or it can be built up or charged and stored for later. This is where most of the electricity you use comes from. Big generators or motors charge huge amounts of particles in a power plant. We can then use batteries to store all of this electric energy. The electric charge of energy moves in currents. Objects can either allow the current to travel through it or prevent the current from moving through. If a material allows the current to travel, it is called a conductor. Conductors are generally made out of metal like silver, gold, copper, steel, but can also be other things like graphite, salt water, and even acidic fruit juices. That's why you can use a lemon to create a battery for your phone. Objects that prevent electrical currents are called insulators. These include rubber, oil, glass, and dry wood. To harness electricity, you can use conductors to create a one-way path for the current to flow through. And if you set up your path in a loop, you can make what's called a circuit. A circuit is just a loop of conductors, usually wires, that allow electricity to power a device. Let's look at a really simple circuit. We have a battery full of electricity, and now we can use wires to move that electrical energy away from the battery to a device that needs electricity. This could be a light, a bell, a buzzer, or even a heater. But let's use the light bulb. So we attach our device to the wire, and now we have to make a loop for the current to travel back to the battery. Now this circuit turns our light on. But you'd probably want to turn this light off again, so let's add a switch. The switch can either be closed, which means the loop is completed, or open, meaning there's a gap in the current, which turns our light off. If you look at some electrical switches, you might notice a line for on or closed, and a circle or O for open. Now we can open and close our circuit but a one light bulb circuit is kind of boring, so let's add some pizzazz. I want to add multicolored light bulbs, like holiday lights. Now what we've made is a type of circuit called a series. This type of circuit is really easy to make, but it has one major downfall. If even one light bulb goes out, the circuit is disrupted, the circuit opens, and all of the light bulbs go out. Womp womp. To avoid this, we can build our circuit in parallel. That means that we create an additional loop of wires parallel to our original setup to allow the electricity to branch off and continue in multiple pathways. This lets us still create a closed loop even if one light or several go out. Let's take a look at some questions. 